The Home Recording Studio. Today's lesson, Sequencing Music. Hello everybody, my name is Tim and I've been playing music for over 50 years. I'm a professional musician and retired music teacher. Well, over the years I've learned to play many instruments and I've always had a, an interest in recording. I started out years ago with a four-track cassette tape deck and before that I had a reel-to-reel -reel tape machine that I, I used to try to record with. So I've made all of my CDs by uh, producing accompaniments with this technique known as music sequencing. And then I record these accompaniments and play my instruments along with them. So now why don't I show you how I go about doing this. There are many sounds in this uh, sound module right here. And by connecting it to the piano, I'm able to play the piano and access those sounds. Right now it's set for an accordion sound. When I need a bass guitar for my recordings, I, I play it on the piano. Now I'm working on a, a polka CD. And so I needed a drum set for that and uh, I picked one out called the Hip Hop Drum Set. So all these different keys um, have a different sound attached. Hi-hat. Now you will need some way to connect your um, keyboard and sound module to a sequencer or in my case to the computer where I use sequencing software. And so years ago I bought this Tascam 428 and at the time it was quite an innovation. It allows you to um, work with MIDI data as we would with sequencing with a keyboard in the uh, sound module and it also allowed you to um, connect microphones so you could record audio. Uh, this is the software that I use for the sequencing. And I want uh, to tell you just a, a little bit about it without getting into too much depth with it. So the basics of sequencing are that you, you record your piano one part on, um, on track one, let's say, and then you'll go back and set up track two so that it has a bass sound, and then record that part, and then go back and set up um, channel 3 to be an accordion sound and record that and everything that you do you hear the previous parts as you're playing the new part so music se sequencing is adding layering parts one over the other until you get everything in there that you're uh, looking for in this case this is an accompaniment part and so it, it includes uh, the melody which later I turn off and then the bass, the accordion, and all of the, uh, the drum parts. My, my trap set part, which includes bass drum, snare, cymbals, cowbell, some, some crazy sounds, tom-tom, crash cymbals, and applause. There's even an applause uh, sound built into this uh, tone generator over here. So now, the next thing I'll do is uh, I'll show you how I go about doing it. We're ready to start sequencing our song. I've got the uh, software set up so that it'll give me two measures of count off. So here we go. Two measures with a metronome. Okay, now let's say I played that whole melody in for the entire song. Now I'm going to go back and go to the next channel and add the bass part. So now when I play the bass part, I will hear the melody as I'm, as I'm playing. Here we go. Okay, so let's say we have our bass part all played in. Now for this particular song, it's a polka. And so I'm going to need some after beats. And so I decided to uh, play some of those in using an accordion sound. 
So as I play those, I'm going to hear the melody and the bass part. Okay, so let's say we have all our afterbeats in. Now we'll go to the drum set. Now we're going to be building this drum set one instrument at a time. The first is the bass drum. So we'll go ahead and play, I would play the entire song just playing the bass drum part like this. Next I'm going to be adding the snare part and I like to do these one at a time rather than doing like a bass snare. I like to do them one at a time so that later on when I um, record those in, into my uh, digital recorder I put them each on a different track and I have full control over my mix down and the volume of each of the instruments in the drum set. So now we'll just do the snare drum part. So you can see how we're beginning to build this drum set. The next thing would be cymbals, ride cymbals. So we'll, we'll uh, add those in there. I like to add bongos to a lot of my tunes, especially like polkas. So there's a bongo sound. So we'll, uh, we'll stick some of that in there. Here we go. Like I mentioned before, there's hundreds of sounds that they've digitized in this uh, sound module. And I decided on the Pennsylvania Poker here that I'd start off with some applause. And so here we go. Amazing, huh? So I've gone ahead and played in all of the instruments that I want uh, to have included in my accompaniment part for this Pennsylvania polka. So I'll go ahead and, um, and hit the play button and you'll be able to hear what I've done. Here we go. Starting off with that applause. Well, why don't we take that uh, metronome out of there? We don't want that now. Okay, so now it'll just start right off with the applause. Later on I'll go back in and I'll turn the melody off so that when I play my instruments um, that melody isn't chiming in there too. So I can do that right now. You'll hear the, me you'll hear the melody disappear. There we go. So now I have just the accompaniment playing. So if you're new to music sequencing or recording in general, I hope this CD was helpful for you. And um, this is going to be part one of a two-part series. The next part, I'll show you how I um, record my saxophones, trumpets, accordion, all the other instruments along with this accompaniment that I've created by sequencing. So, check out part two as soon as I get it done. See you later. Thank you.